gospelmusicians.com Okay, we're going to try and film this pretty good. Um, a little hard here, so I hope we did a good color correction here because um, of the screen. So, good job. All right, so what do we do here? This is something my wife recorded somebody's birthday. Oh, Jaslyn. <laughs> Real quick, nothing big. <laughs> so, what we do, we click this plus right here. Okay? We want a new song. All right, so it it directs you as to what to do. Um, there's nothing there for audio tracks per se. You have to know to make it an audio recording. So we say audio recording. All right, so now I flipped that back there. All right, so I did audio recording. I'm not really, I really don't have an audio recording. All right, so before we get into that, this is very key. We want to click on this uh, little thing that looks like a puzzle. All right. So right now it's saying section A, bars A. Um, if you import the track and it's longer, which is it is longer, you're not going to have bars and eight and stuff like that. And when you import, it's going to look messed up. So first thing you want to do is click on this and change bars to automatic is on. All right. That's what you want to do. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, automatic is on. Turn automatic off, then tap the arrow where it says. Um, so let me click right here. We want us to click that to automatic. Turn automatic off, then tap the arrows to manually change the length of the song section. So we already we're on automatic. All right. So now let's pull this out. To pull it out, all I did was just just drag that right like that, and like that. Just drag that out. All right. So let's import our first track. All right. So we got an audio track here. Double click or single click right on the actual track and say import and as you can see right here it has all of the tracks now this is the reason why I said you want to name it that so if you want to import everything that's affiliated with boom you've already named them boom boom <laughs> so it goes by alphabetical order now I imported those apple loops as you can see it has a different icon here that looks like Apple Loops, which is really, really cool and has the BPM. So I'm importing, let's import uh, Boom Backing Full. All right, let's play this first. All right. Now, as you can hear, the tempo's a little off. Once again, that is the reason why I said you got to know the tempo. Um, you can turn the metronome off. But I would recommend just working with the metronome to make everything uh, tight. Even if you don't use the metronome, please import your tracks or change the metronome to the exact um, BPM. So we're at 120 on here. So I click here and I change this to, let's go to 120 because that's where we're at. All right. We keep the metronome on just for cool sake. It's dead on. Another thing on importing, uh, I know it's obvious, but please make sure, please make sure that your tracks are lined exactly on Z measure zero, like right on there, or else it won't work. It's just a waste of time. All right, so back here. So we did our first import. Let's go to our next import. Let's add. Uh, actually, can I copy this? Let me see. I think I can. I think there's a way for me to copy this track let me see let me hold this down or double click no nope. all right all right so we'll just go ahead and add the tracks then so so I'll go back here this switches back and forth between the tracks so we add audio track flip back add audio track flip back add Audio track, flip back, add, audio track, audio recording is what it's saying, flip back, this flips back between 
whatever instrument or audio or whatever the track is is switch back and forth add another track as you can see we can add up to eight so let's just add them all one two three four five six audio flip back and one more and we go audio and we flip back all right so just flip back in here you can see the whole song you click here to go to measure play all right so let's keep adding these tracks here so tap here oh, tap here import uh, bass uh oh I did it wrong yeah that's a mistake there so this is what you gotta do which I didn't do and I'm glad I showed the mistake let's tap on here double tap say delete when you import your tracks you gotta make sure you import on the zero or the, the first measure alright so I didn't do that import import tap here import bass go back and then we import brass go back Im uh, import uh, the click track alright I like that I like my click track to look like that because it shows the Apple loops but what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight this and drag my click track up top because that's the most important thing that the drummer wants to hear and I always keep my clip track on one alright so let's import again what else we got left uh, we already got the click track there so we don't need to import that the drum demo all right and uh, let's go back let me go let me put this up here I like to keep the 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 big stuff up there and the instruments at the bottom that's just me let's see what else we got to import um, the lead And then we, let's hear how it sounds so far. It's dead on. All right. So I imported the lead. Here we go again. Importing the piano. And so it's only seven tracks here, so we're good. All right. So everything's here. Now let me... This uh, this is solo, and this is mute. So I can solo, solo just a click track. All right, and and so here's the drum demo. Let me solo this. Sounds cool, but I'm not going to use that live. I'm just going to use the other tracks. And this is the backing track full by itself, just in case you don't want to do all those tracks and you want to just use your stereo. That's everything, okay? But we're not going to use those, so we mute that and we mute that. Now, I'm just a organization thing, so I like to pull the stuff that I mute and I'm not going to use here. So everything is cool. So I got the uh, I got the click track, I got the bass, I got the brass, I got the lead, and I got the piano. It's all set. So what I would do is just simply click it. Now the key is to look what happens at the end. Something about GarageBand, and I haven't figured this out, so if you figure that out, then please let me know. But GarageBand, somehow, it uh, it loops by itself. I don't know how to turn it off. Maybe it's in here. Count in, tap, key, airplay, uh, metronome, count in, sound. I don't know how to turn it off. So when you're doing a live gig, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> so <clears throat> make sure kind of way that you 
uh, when you export your tracks just like I exported them at the end make sure you export your tracks well there's one thing we can do let's just uh, see if we can they won't let us extend that out let's see if we can extend something out nope it's not a loop um, so we can't extend it out so what you want to do is when you do your backing tracks if you if you're not prepared to stop by yourself what you can do is on, on your tracks just make sure that you add a whole bunch of space at the end that's just nothing so that when you import it you have a whole bunch of space and you have enough time to stop it because the last thing you want to do after the track is over y'all jamming it starts all over again <laughs> alright so I don't know how to change that if you're a guru on this let me know I would love to do that but that is one big flaw on using the backing tracks uh, you can do it like I said just make sure you have a whole bunch of space at the end and uh, I'll sh I'll sh let me see if I can show you um, file new empty track uh, just say you have an audio track and say your audio track goes from here to here alright say your whole track goes from there to there just make sure your ending when you export Make sure your ending goes further than where it really ends. It gives you enough space. This is your ending point when you export. So this is a whole bit, pretty much an audio file with just a bunch of space that doesn't happen. All right, so I just wanted to show you all that. So that's how you import the tracks. Let me import a click track. All right, let me, let me just show you so we can do this over again. All right, so once again, it saves it. All right, so here we go. Let's do a new project new song audio recording we're not going to record anything we're going to import something flip this out just like this click that import and let's import a click track uh, this is called KDFL it's 100 BPM alright <clears throat> now it should have automatically changed uh, it would be cool if they told me to automatically change the BPM but no big deal. Um, so this is 100 BPM. Take it down to 100. Let's look at the end. Now the cool thing about now, where I didn't like it on a full track, where it ends and it goes back to the beginning and plays, I do like that with my click track because that way I don't have, a, have to. I don't have to have a lot of of the click track. Let me show you. So here's the ending right here. You can see the end part right here here's the beginning uh, let me flip this over so you can see it so so when we go to the beginning watch this the cool thing about this whole looping thing that it does automatically in GarageBand is that when I get to the end here it's gonna flip right back I hope I'm right yeah so that's cool I don't like that for my full tracks. I wish I can turn that off. Please tell me how I turn it off. Let me know, guys. All right, so. I guess I could go here if I really wanted to turn it off for real tracks. And in my section, I can I can manually say like 64 or way past the length. So uh, I guess we could do that. So here when I'm importing backing tracks, I say eight bars. I probably could say... I probably could say, uh, um, it's not clicking on section A. Oh, probably got to click on it. Uh, let's see if we do four. See if that works. Yeah, see? Four. So that's just your click track. I probably could do two and we're good. So, it's just two. Goes all the way to the end. We're cool. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's how you import it. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. So now, here's the fun stuff. This is section four. What in the world do you use to play your backing tracks? And I'm going to show you my new toy that I got. So, coming right at you. Gospel Musicians Part 3. Uh, outputs of playing your back backing tracks with GarageBand um, on the iPad. For more fat clips, go to gospelmusicians.com.